Hello and welcome back to the Book Fox Summaries bringing literature to life one summary at the time, spoiler-free insights, hidden themes, all the good stuff in bite-sized pieces. Can't tackle that TBR pile? Don't have time? We've got you covered. So grab a cuppa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. Today, we're diving into a book that's been making everyone smile, Happy Place by Emily Henry. This delightful rom-com adventure takes us on a roller coaster of laughter, love, and friendship. As we navigate through the intricacies of a fake dating scheme, we discover that sometimes the most unexpected experiences can lead us back to our happy place. So buckle up and get ready for a hilarious fake dating escapade with a side of deep emotional connection. First up, we have Harriet. She's a headstrong pediatric dentist who loves crafting the perfect itinerary. Known for her meticulous planning and unwavering determination, Harriet has always been the one to keep her life in order. Then there's Wynn. He's a laid-back, free-spirited documentary filmmaker who lives life as it comes. With his go-with-the-flow attitude and spontaneous charm, Wynn is the perfect counterbalance to Harriet's structured lifestyle. They met in college and their chemistry was undeniable. Harriet's orderliness meshed well with Wynn's laissez-faire approach and they became the best of friends. Eventually, their friendship evolved into a relationship making them the perfect couple in the eyes of their friends. But six months ago, a mysterious breakup turned their relationship upside down. Now they're left navigating their complex feelings for each other while maintaining their friendship. They used to be the perfect couple, but a mysterious breakup six months ago has left things complicated. Every year, Harriet, Wynn, and their close friends reunite for a week-long vacation in a charming main cottage. It's a tradition, a chance to unwind, reconnect, and escape the real world. But this year, the atmosphere is different. A palpable tension hangs in the air as Harriet and Wynne, once a couple, now just friends, try to keep the peace. They laugh, they reminisce, they pretend everything's normal. But beneath the laughter and shared memories, a secret simmers. Except their secret is about to explode. Disaster strikes when Harriet discovers her ex is bringing his new girlfriend on the trip. Now, imagine being trapped in a picturesque main cottage, surrounded by your closest friends, with your ex and his new flame. Sounds like a recipe for disaster, right? But wait, Harriet isn't going to let this ruin her vacation. In a bold move, she decides to introduce a plot twist of her own. Enter the fake dating scheme, a plan as wild as the main wilderness itself. She decides to rope in Wynne, her best friend and ex-boyfriend, to play the role of her current beau. The idea? To keep her ex at bay and avoid any awkward encounters. But convincing Wynne to play along isn't a walk in the park. He's hesitant, unsure, but being the good friend that he is, he finally relents. And so, this unexpected fake dating adventure begins. Wynne, ever the good friend, reluctantly agrees. Hilarity ensues as Harriet and Wynne navigate the charade. As they attempt to recapture their old couple dynamics for the sake of the act, we find ourselves laughing out loud at their antics. From over-the-top public displays of affection to bickering over the smallest of things, they keep us on our toes, providing plenty of comic relief. But what's a rom-com without a few hiccups? There's a lobster cooking contest gone wrong, a disastrous kayak trip, and let's not forget the impromptu karaoke session where Wynn, who's tone-deaf, takes the microphone. Each situation is funnier than the last, making the main retreat feel like a comedy show. However, beneath the laughter, there's a growing tension as they play act their way through the vacation memories of their past relationship keep surfacing long forgotten arguments shared jokes tender moments they all come rushing back reminding them of what they once had and then there are the quiet moments the stolen glances the lingering touches the conversations that last until dawn they are reminders of the deep bond they share a bond that hasn't been broken despite the breakup but amidst this mayhem, something else is happening, something neither of them expected. As they pretend to be a couple, real emotions start to resurface. Old wounds begin to heal, and unresolved feelings bubble to the surface. Could this fake dating scheme lead to something real? Stick around to find out! As the week progresses, the line between fake and real starts to blur. Harriet and Wynne find themselves in a whirlpool of nostalgia and longing, their hearts pulsing to a rhythm they thought was long forgotten. The cozy cottage, the salty sea breeze, the laughter echoing through the halls, all these serve as a backdrop to their unfolding love story. They're reminded of why they fell for each other in the first place, their shared laughter, their love for adventure, their unspoken understanding, it's all still there. 
but they also confront the bitter truth of their past, the unresolved issues that led to their painful separation. Harriet and Wynne are given a second chance, an opportunity to right their wrongs. They learn that love isn't just about the happy moments but also about navigating the stormy seas together. As the week nears its end, one question looms large. Will this forced proximity rekindle their flame, or will their happy place remain a memory? But happy place isn't just about romance, it's a beautifully woven tapestry of relationships, exploring the depths of friendship in all its glory. Our protagonists, Harriet and Wynne, aren't just lovers but they're also friends. Friends who have seen each other through thick and thin, through laughter and tears, through college exams and career leaps. Their camaraderie is the backbone of this story, offering a refreshing perspective on love. Similarly, the book also underscores the power of forgiveness. It's about acknowledging past mistakes, extending the olive branch, and building bridges instead of walls. Harriet and Wynne's journey is a testament to this. Their breakup wasn't pretty, but their willingness to forgive, to understand, and to communicate, that's where the beauty lies. In essence, Happy Place serves as a gentle reminder that friendship and forgiveness are two of the most potent ingredients in the recipe of love. We see how forgiveness and open communication can heal even the deepest wounds. Of course, secrets can't stay buried forever. As the sun sets on yet another day of main escapades, the truth about Harriet and Wynne's charade comes to light. The revelation sends a ripple of shock through their close-knit group of friends. Feelings of betrayal, confusion, and even amusement clash in the once peaceful cottage. The unveiling of the faked romance, initially a ploy to avoid awkwardness, now serves as the catalyst for a whirlwind of raw emotions and some very uncomfortable breakfast encounters. Will their friends, feeling deceived, turn their backs on the duo? Or will they rally around Harriet and Wynne, helping them navigate the choppy waters that lie ahead? The stakes are high as Harriet and Wynne face the consequences of their well-intended deception. But the real question remains. More importantly, can Harriet and Wynne rebuild trust and navigate a potential future together? I won't spoil the ending, but let's just say, Happy Place delivers a satisfying and heartwarming conclusion. As Harriet and Wynne navigate their tangled emotions and face their truths, they find that sometimes, the journey is just as important as the destination. Their story is a testament to the power of love, friendship, and second chances. Emily Henry masterfully blends humor, romance, and emotional depth, leaving you with a smile on your face and a renewed belief in second chances. So, if you're looking for a fun and heartwarming read that will make you laugh out loud, Happy Place is definitely for you. It's a perfect summer beach read or a cozy escape for any time of year. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. With your subscription you are helping us to have the power to create more summaries like this. Comments, recommendations, extremely welcome. Hit the like button, share with friends and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.